It was uh, Christmas 1991 and uh, we went over to our friend's place and they got some rollerblades for Christmas. I said, do you want to have a go? And I put them on and it was love at first skate. It was just incredible. G'day, I'm David Douglas Stewart and they call me Camo or Camma. And I'm 44 years old and I live in Brisbane, Australia and I'm a rollerblader. Yeah, so I went over to Japan when I was 18 and uh, I didn't have much luggage, but I said, I'm taking my skates, definitely. They go everywhere with me. I found skating in Japan a lot more regimented. And um, like I remember, I was living, this is later on, I was living in Tokyo and I remember looking at some people and they were training. And uh, when we used to do grinds, we used to just jump on, sometimes you'd fall off. And uh, you know, you just kind of learn through trial and error. But I saw that they had um, somebody with a stopwatch and they were just standing up on the rails, not sliding along them at all. And they were timing each other to see how long they could stay up in position on the rail. And I just thought we would never do anything like that. Like we would just charge at it and jump. Sometimes you'd smash your shin, sometimes you'd fall off and yeah. I, I smashed my face up really bad once. Um, yeah, that was all part of it. But yeah, Japan, um, lots of the skaters there are just absolutely incredible. But I think uh, just the culture in general, it's much more about training under a mentor. And whoa, those uh, cockatoos are having a battle over there. Um, yeah, in Japan, it's just much more about training under a mentor who kind of gives you, shows you the ropes and does it strictly if you want to get good at something. It was baptism by fire. We just took the plunge and went in and yeah, you got hurt a lot, but you also learned important lessons when you got hurt. Okay, so I love rollerblading, but I also love videoing, but up until Joe came here to hang out with me, I haven't been taking my camera skating, and it's all because uh, I just, not I don't want to keep them separate or anything, but by myself, I, if I take the camera out, I'm not kind of having as much fun on my skates, so, but this has been good because we've been so, had, uh, because we've had like so many opportunities to skate at all these skate parks, and it's not rushed. Um, my life's pretty busy at the moment, so I don't get that many chances to skate. So when I do get to skate, I like to go out there and really skate. But this time we've had days, so we've had time to take the cameras out and it's been really good. Yeah, I've, had, I've been asked this question, how, how long do I plan to skate? And I don't have any plans to quit. So as long as my body will hold out. But like this week, I've had, uh, I hurt my knees pretty bad. It, looking at the footage, it didn't look that bad, but I, um, yeah, kind of hit them. And I also crunched my abs in a way that really hurt every time I tried to jump or um, do any explosive movements with my abdomen muscles. So I just realized as well that um, I've got to take it easy, obviously. And up until now, I haven't really been doing new tricks. I've been trying to maintain old tricks, but I've also been trying to get, I guess, a bit more creative and uh, doing small little fancy footwork kind of tricks that are just more technical than big. Um, I'm 44 now and I just can't go as big as I used to go so I, I pretty much know my limits but sometimes I go a little bit too far but I don't overstep them too badly. So I recently got my two oldest kids into rollerblading got them a pair of skates each. They're just recreational skates so they've got stoppers on the back and they've got big soft wheels so no grinding or anything like that. But yeah they've been doing well. I've been taking them down to the skate park and they roll around. There's a few lessons that they have to be taught, like uh, when they get in the way, because you know, it's a skate park, it's a dangerous spot. We were at uh, Miami the other day at Pizzy Park, and there were kids running around. I couldn't believe it. These kids were like, um, oh, they were young, but they were just like unsupervised. Their parents were on their phones or drinking coffee and they weren't even looking at them. Like, would you let your kids go out on a busy road and play? Like, it's ridiculous. They don't realize, like when we were doing it as young kids, we would get yelled at if we kind of, sat in the wrong spot or were too close to the coping. But yeah, these kids were completely unsupervised. I don't blame the kids at all, but they're running around unsupervised. A couple of times I went over the box, I almost hit them. And the parents didn't even notice, I don't think. Um, so I'm really, really, uh, that's, that's 
in the forefront of my mind. I don't want my kids to be doing that. So I'm, I'm pretty vocal about that when they get in the way. I have to tell them, no, 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 look where you're going. Um, but you know, older skaters, they know what it's like for kids. So they're, they're pretty tolerant up to a point. But um, yeah, PC Park was just out of control. Oh, honestly, I, I think there are so many benefits to blading that I'm just starting to be aware of now. Like the first one is just how to fall. You're falling over a lot on rollerblades and you start to learn how to roll and, you know, fall in ways that you can minimize the harm that you do to yourself. And that just helps you with just all, if you're kind of navigating a flight of stairs at work and you've got stuff in your hands and stuff and you need to fall, you're not gonna fall forward, you're gonna kind of fall back into the stairs and slide down, minimize your injuries. This kind of stuff just becomes second nature after you're doing it so long. So that's a definite benefit. Of course, all the health benefits there as well. It's a really good workout. It's a lot of fun. You're just, um, it just makes, transforms any environment into like a playground, which is great. Obviously, if it's a grassy paddock, you're not already be able to do much, but anywhere there's concrete, which is a lot of places in the urban environment, you've got so many options. I think also just like your general creativity as well is really sparked by rollerblading. You start to see the world different. And I remember reading once in a magazine, a blading magazine, that the safest way to go down the stairs is to walk down the stairs holding onto the handrail. Instead, rollerbladers jump up on the handrail and grind to the bottom. It's not the safest way. Um, it's the quickest way probably, but um, it's a fun way and it just transforms the way you look at uh, everything. It's just good to kind of uh, get yourself into that frame of mind where you're looking at dual purpose and not just uh, using ways in, in the way that the designer had uh, considered. You start to think out of the box. And uh, I think rollerblading, I can thank rollerblading for a lot of that. But I'm really enjoying it at the age of 44, just going to skate parks all the time. And uh, yeah, kids there think I'm there to accompany my kids. So they're always surprised when I strap them on. And it's nice, people ask me if I'm sponsored all the time. When I was younger, I really wanted to get sponsored. I thought it was uh, the be all and end all. And uh, I wanted to wear different logos on my uh, company and get, oh sorry, on my, my clothes and skate and get paid for it. But these days, yeah, I'm happy to be sponsored by uh, Shifty, Shifty Clothing. Um, that's my brother's company. He makes awesome t-shirts. Uh, there's one of his designs right here. Um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying skating and uh, I'll probably get out maybe once or twice a week. Uh, I've been going to a few regular catch-ups and I'm starting to know some other skaters. And um, yeah, it's great though doing it with my kids, seeing them strap on the skates and enjoy it. So yeah, hoping to do it for as long as I can.